Hi, uh, most uh, two years ago I made a video about the scrapping of uh, old uh, Soviet aircraft IFF system and here is the only module I did keep from it and I believe I did never do the video showing the insides of this so this is an error and this must be repaired so we have a pretty deep uh, 40 cm deep box here uh, model number is uh, W01, written here, we and the handle. We have some test points here, handle. Uh, light here with a push button. Provision for writing something behind the little window. And it is written, uh, of course, made in uh, USSR. Caution and uh, something about uh, installing it in the aircraft. This is the word for uh, aircraft simulator. <coughs> Rear side is just two uh, uh, multi pin connectors. So on the front and here on the side, you have a little uh, chart with a uh, test uh, point, it seems. Here. Yes, so we have this, we have this little panel here. And we will adjust the camera like this. So, so it is a little access door if, if I remember. We have behind this a set of uh, screws to make contacts on the code something. Maybe it is uh, coding the aircraft uh, number. Yes. As you can see, some fiber material painted in white for uh, writing area. It's in there. And here we have, so it seems to be a binary pattern. By the way, you have uh, 1, 2, 4, 8 on the values times 1 to times 10,000. So it must allow to uh, set uh, quite a, a good number of uh, values with all these screws which are in stock around available for use. So since it was never uh, coded like with uh, these things. On the side here I can see the uh, contact bars and diodes. So this is interesting. Not something you see every day. So now I will um, remove the uh, top cover and we have a look inside. Here is what it looks inside. On the top you have all the wire rings. And in fact we have two panels which flip open each side with PCBs. As you can see. So quite a nice design. Here is the bottom side with uh, cooling holes. The other side. So it is not uh, very convenient because it is big. But we will have a look at all of this. So you can see the pretty thick uh, aluminium frame for mounting the PCBs on. And here the uh, wires oops, are uh, protected in some kind of uh, rubber. This is still in good condition by the way. All the old uh, Soviet rubber I have seen so far is uh, still in good condition and does not turn into uh, rock hard uh, stuff or into goop. It is quite amazing to see that. So, it should flip open, I believe, yes. So, we have a stack of uh, four... Yes, we have uh, four layers of boards. One, two, three, four. So, we'll start here. Little bit of zoom. No. Sorry, my camera will not zoom when it is filming. So, here we have... 
uh, a bunch of power transistors and all of these modules are uh, micro electronics modules <coughs> there is a Russian website somewhere uh, explaining how they are made I will try to link in the video description if I find it again <coughs> And also we link the previous videos I made about the wall uh, scrapping of the thing. So we have a lot of these modules. They are in stack in fact of uh, little layers of uh, little square boards with wires going all the way uh, along, along them. And each square board is a ceramic module with uh, one or two parts in fact. quite a primitive uh, integrated circuit here we have uh, these brown things must be delay lines with a wire wound uh, coils inside capacitors and such all putted I do not think it can be opened Small. Uh, these things here are uh, capacitors and you can notice this uh, where the orange capacitors here, the values are handwritten on them and it looks they are made from string gum almost quite a weird thing here more of the micro electronic modules I would like to be able to uh, open one but all the ones I have are in good stuff in fact I have no scrap stuff this module I will keep it because it is beautiful so I have no spare one for now to uh, to rip open. Here we have a glass envelope uh, quartz. You can see the quartz inside. This uh, side, oops, of the panel. It is quite annoying. This thing. Oh, sorry about that. So same uh, stuff here. Black modules. Metal can capacitors, delay line. Here we have a bunch of uh, dead bug mounted tra transistors in a black metal cans. And uh, vertically mounted uh, diodes on the resistors. It is quite uh, not very so usual in uh, Russian electronics, in fact. And you can notice I saw a nice wire loom going all, all the way along. Ok, so we'll have a look at the other side, but as far as I can remember, it is basically the same stuff. More of the same stuff. So it is uh, this part, uh, of course, I did keep this because it is a pretty beautiful thing. The other part of the IFF was, uh, has had been modified and were in bad. Uh, condition and it was too bulky anyway to keep everything this uh, is really beauty beautiful the only problem is the cover it is a little bent but maybe we'll try to hammer it a little before reassembling so I have to try to open this yes oh, we have only one uh, no components on this side it is the back of a uh, over PCB and here more oh, as you can see still exactly the same stuff here we have two other uh, circuit boards for uh, putting even more stuff you can see it is pretty crowded in this thing quite incredible dead bug mount power transistor here quite unusual to see this this little uh, relays here in little cans and it is the same all the way to the other end of the PCB this uh, amber boxes I believe they are small signal transistors so I have no clue of what this thing does obviously it must be all uh, analog signal processing except for the binary uh, coding uh, stuff on the front 
it is really a piece of a mystery this thing you can see the bottom of the case here is a thick plate of aluminium and uh, the middle frame has been bolted down and it looks like the bolt have been welded and they are all individual PCBs in fact so it must uh, allow more or less uh, repair of uh, replacement of one PCB except for these uh, wires which are soldered on, onto them they have no uh, there is no um, connectors here at all so quite uh, weird ok so thanks for watching for uh, this and uh, I hope you did enjoy it bye bye